Hey, it's Ari. Uh, another interview session with two more of my natural friends. Hello. It's Rashette and Jasmine. Bonjour. Or bonsoir. <laughs> and this one speaks. She's like half French. She's not. <laughs> um, all right. So, Jasmine, you never... Have you ever gotten a relaxer? Yeah. All right. How old were you when you got your first relaxer? Nine or ten. Okay. And then when did you stop getting relaxers? Uh, Eighteen. So that was like years. three years. That's it. And why did you even start? Because if you see, Jasmine has very loose curls. Like, thank you. Um, because I can only get it straight from root to close to the oh, the, ends the ends. Be very bushy. Like. Both my friends are black, oh, so geez. you should know I'm the I'm the mixed one here, not them. And uh, Miss Shutter, when how old were you when you got your first relaxer? I was about, I would say nine or ten, like jazz. Okay. And you stopped getting them around my first year in college. And why? Because I realized that when my perm, like in between my perms, I got perms every three months. I never got them like the recommended six weeks or whatever. Mm -hmm. I got them like every three months. And in between like the growth periods, I noticed that my hair was like curly. Or whatever. So I was like, oh, let me try it, you know, natural. It was like out of curiosity, pretty much. And why did you study Anna? Because they invented she irons. Like, <laughs> like, very straight without no type of Yes. Firm they they wear their hair straight, I, I would say, most of the time. Yeah. Uh, Shutter wears her straight more than any of us. And I did the twist out style that I do on both of them. And it looked really nice. I actually put clips of what I was doing with Shetta so you could see what her hair looks like, like at a wash and go stage. Jazz's hair actually looks better when you just diffuse it, like turn your head. Right now, like her hair is really heavy, so all her curls are down here at the bottom. But like, her, she her hair can get really big. It's just that this is such a heavy style for her hair, and she had product in it. We didn't wash it out. Whatever. But this, these, you know, these are the curls. Which I will be doing as soon as I cut my hair in July. So, um, yeah, quick update about that. A, s a few people said I should wait for my year mark. I think I'm gonna. So I think mid July, chopping it off, and then I'll show it. But then I also want to straighten it. So I'm saying straight. What's that? Why are you cutting? Your I gotta hair? cut it. Don't cut her. But she Oh my God, it's such a project. Don't influence this. No, everybody. <laughs> B no. C. B. No, yeah, seriously, everybody wants me to chop it. Right? No! Do you like your hair better straight or curly? Or does it depend? Depends. On what? Um, weather. Mm, because obviously. my hair, it can mist outside. And my roots will be, like, wave. And then everything else will be straight. Except for my ends. And it will be flipped. I'd rather have it curly during the summer. It's easier. Mm -hmm. It's like you don't have to work around with a flat iron in your pocket. <laughs> exactly. Your every yes. 10 seconds. Mm -hmm. Oil sheen dripping out of your face. <laughs> like, what was this? My cute. Um, my cousin. She OD, She ODs with the Razak. The perfect oh, for God. So, yeah. Depends on the weather. And you? Weather. In the winter, fall, early spring, straight. Mm -hmm. Midsummer. I mean, mid spring, sorry. So, summer, dead heat of the summer, curling. It's easier. You can have fun with your hair. Wash and go is the greatest thing in the world. <laughs> mm, that's why I, that's why I want to cut it, because I can't do that. I can't wash and go with it like this. My roots are all poofy, and then the ends are dead. It looks retarded. Okay, so when you cut these ends off, how short is it going to yeah, be? Yeah, that's gonna another thing I want to know. It's going to be really short. Are you going to be able to accept that psychologically? Yes, yes. I don't care. I don't think she is. What are you talking about? No, I I'm going to be fine. It. She's not going to. I am. Are I'm you sure? Because once yeah. you cut your hair, it's going to grow. It'll grow It will back. grow. It will grow. I mean, you just have to deal with it until it grows back. That's fine. I, I promise you. I see her with checks in her view. I do, too. Oh, okay. <laughs> <laughs> you know what? I was thinking about if I don't like it or whatever, if I have an issue, I might just corner roll it up and buy a wig, yeah. For real. Yo! From Halloween. No lace fronts. No, no lace, lace fronts. fronts. <laughs> I don't mind I'm the lace fronts right if they're right done right. You know what I mean? Like celebrities. Yeah. 
Karak lace fronts. No, I mean, yeah, because right. that's because the lace fronts are five thousand, six, seven thousand dollars, thirty dollars lace it's, fronts. It's, it's handcrafted, no, no, no. manufactured factory line lace fronts should be all set on fire and the ashes <laughs> should be spread across the Atlantic Ocean. Oh my God! Uh, when you end up on, you know, you dead ass wrong. Don't hmm. say you didn't get the warning on the hair channel for you. Ah, for you real. Whole wigs are better. Yeah. <laughs> all right. Yeah, I wanted to talk about that. Um, about how natural hair and how I feel about it. Like a lot. I feel like, and I feel like a lot of people feel this way. A lot of women, when they wear their hair natural, they put like a flower or whatever, you know, and that's cute and all, but that's so like earthy and you know what I mean like I like divifying my natural hair like that's what like I like this about. exactly Sorry, like I like to I like the edgy aspect of it not so much the just yeah which is there's nothing wrong with that no but there's like, not I, I feel just, like that's geared towards the older women who do yeah, it but no but a lot of young women do too with twigs in your hair because it's natural <laughs> 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 no I don't knock that I think the flowers and all that are really pretty I just like the edgy more edgy style like like Sometimes I wear it in like a little mohawk, kind of like Sheila E, but it's kind of cool. It looks really nice. It looks really cool. Like but yeah, I'm not digging the flower thing. It's really cool, but it's just not for. It's, it's not how we me. operate. Yeah, it's not yeah, how it's we not operate. How exactly. We operate. That's become yeah. more like a stereotype. Yeah, yeah, yeah that's the like picture. If you're here, naturally you have to. Mother. Earth. Well, you're expected to walk around looking like um, in a sundress and a flower. Mm-hmm. And Mother nature. Yeah. It's need to break that stereotype because it's not about that you know like i don't feel sexy like that honestly i don't either i don't either i feel cute pretty you know whatever but when i have my edgy whatever diva glamorous thing going on that's when i feel sexy and i feel like a lot of women with natural hair have that problem like they feel like they're sexier with their hair straight you know and that's part of that stereotype that needs to be broken too like, cause I mean, recently or like in the last couple <coughs> years, I've noticed like my friends, like you've gone natural mm-hmm. and it's cool. And it's just like, I know other friends, my other friends in Philly, like they're starting to go natural too. Like Amber started to go natural. Oh, mm-hmm. yeah. It doesn't matter. Like she's starting to go natural and the process is hard for her, but I told her, I was like, in the end, you're going to like yeah, it. Like you're going to love your hair part. because it's going to come out thicker, more fuller. It's just, you're going to love it. And then you're going to do more with it. Yeah. Do more with it. So it's just like, it's kind of cool that some women or young girls our age are starting to realize that you know natural you know it's beautiful too you don't have to be bone straight you know and think that that's the only way to be sexy i feel like you stand out anybody with curly and especially black women who wear their hair natural mm-hmm. and you just stand out in a crowd period because yeah. that's so not common you used to either see a weave or a perm when you see natural mm-hmm. hair it's like that's just like when we go out and guys tell us all the time like is that your hair? Yeah, like, exactly. Is that your like hair? Like today? In the hair. People always want to constantly touch your hair. Yeah, somebody asked asked what you ethnicity you day. are with like with different textures and stuff of hair outside of having perms and stuff. It's like you're an anomaly. So you just have to be poked and prodded and stuff like that because it's not very common. Mm-hmm. Even though like the styles are different, like we're very diverse with our hair. I think that they like that though. Yeah, because like, they like the fact that we con- like we switch it up all the time, so it's not like every time they see us, it's that one mm-hmm. look. It's always different. Every time I see my boyfriend, it's always a different look, and he's like amazed that I can be so diverse with my hair. And I actually kind of like that too. Like I, I like the fact diversity. that we, I have like the type of hair I have. I'm so like, bored with straight hair. That's why. Yeah, I don't it, do it, it is boring. After a while, like I can't keep my hair straight for more than two weeks now. Now that I'm natural. Yeah. See, I think my diversity with my hair comes in with color. I'm um, so I, I love color. Di- I love. See, I don't go crazy. This is the first time I dyed it, but I love my color. Like, yeah, I love I like it. That color. My hair done been blonde, red, She's had it brown, all. black, pink, <laughs> green, <laughs> a platinum blonde, burnt orange. Kind it was of color. like a golden. Ooh. Yeah, it was burnt cool. orange is nice. Yeah, and I'm going platinum blonde in the front. Oh yeah, platinum blonde in the front and like a. Uh, I don't want to say like bright red, but a loud red kind of. Not fire engine. Not cool. Hood red. Red. red exactly. <laughs> but not Little Mermaid red. Yeah, but like a, a bright, a, a nice red color. The blonde is, is coming back. I miss it. I'm going crazy without my blonde. Whoop, whoop, the blonde. 
I want to get highlights. I'm scared though. All right, so it's Trojan time. Time mm -hmm. to wrap it up. Back it up. And uh, and back it up. And wrap it up. Dump it. Oh <laughs> <laughs> All right, so yes, uh, thank you to Jasmine and Rashad, my very good friends from way, way back to my naturals. So, uh, any questions? Our mission is to at least get two more of our friends natural. I'm thinking yeah. on Tut. Tut is, seems Tut like she could be easily. Natural. She actually is natural. She got a perm yesterday. Yeah. She, she was went, natural. She, she went natural. back. She, she had a, a relapse. So you guys out there, your friends are thinking about getting a We are recruiting the world in this natural, natural movement. Yes. But anyway, I will see you in another vo another video. And uh, much love and deuces. Deuces. <laughs>